We are joined in our not so traditional kitchen so by right. Tina Jessen of Tina's traditional old English kitchen. Thanks for coming in. No, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Are there some misconceptions when people start thinking about uh, English tea? Do it? Americans, we probably think it's something a little bit different than what it really is. Well, it can be very confusing, as I found, trying to explain it to some of my you're American being, friends. Uh, you're being um, <laughs> we have something called afternoon tea, mm -hmm. and it's about not just the tea, but the pastries and the food and tea okay. time. Tea oh, so tea is, a, is an, yeah. um, an so umbrella tea phrase is for an umbrella all of phrase for, for the whole or thing. Or parasol, or whatever, however you call That's it. That's right. So it's it's all about the tea and the pastry. Okay. Oh, fabulous. And you're going to be making a little bit of both for us today. What, what are you going to make first? Well, first of all, I was going to show you how to make a cup of tea the English way. All right. Nice. Which is uh, a black tea uh, made uh, hot and served with milk. Not okay. cream. Not cream? Not cream. Okay. Not cream. So Right. milk. Okay. Learning right. stuff so, already. We'll go right ahead, okay. please. Okay. Well, we need the kettle. Oh, sorry. Oh, Can we? There you go. Yeah. We, we, we've boiled the kettle. This is, uh, this is hot water. We're, we've warmed the pot. We always just put a little bit of water in the pot, slush it around first. There's a uh, whole process to this. Uh, and absolutely. So it has to be a warm pot. And then we're going to add, I'm using tea bags just because typically back home we would use tea bags, not, mm. not fresh tea. Okay. This is everyday tea. We're going to, this pot holds enough for four people. So I'm putting four bags and then a fifth one, which is one for the pot. That's how pot. we. That's how we'd say. So it's a bag each and one for the pot, or um, okay. uh, one. one. Yeah, one or, or a spoon if you're using uh, just uh, the loose leaf tea. Okay. So then we make the the pot like this, and then we put a little cozy, little cozy on here. We'll keep that warm. I thought but, yeah. the cozy yeah. was just to cover it up when you were done. And no, you just no, to keep that the pot that on that it. now brews so for American. a few. This brews for I'm a few American. moments. This uh -huh. this brews br 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 for a little while. All right. So while that's brewing, I'm going to put together um, an English cream tea. Now, okay. if you ever go to um, uh, Devonshire or Cornwall, you might come across uh, a Devonshire or a Cornish cream tea. Okay. okay. Um, but generally, it's called an, an English cream tea. Um, so what we have here, I've got some scones. These are maybe a little smaller than you're used to. That's these okay. Are, these yeah, are the. Uh, this right. is the typical size that we have in in England. Because Americans tend to. You, you tend to super size things. Sizes that, yeah, yeah every, you tend to super size. size. Okay. So these are the typical size, and they're made with raisins. Mm. So these are a plain fruit scone and what we would do with that is we would add some strawberry conserve now this is a this is a strawberry conserve that I make from a in fact it's my grandma's recipe uh, and a conserve is different to a regular jam because it's a little runnier okay, uh, okay. yeah but just look loose. at this yeah. just look at this whole pieces of strawberry there you oh, go. and Very that nice. is what really makes this work so what we do is we take our scone all I've done with this is just sliced it in half and we'd have it open faced okay. and we would add a little strawberry to each side. I like how cute and dainty it yeah, is. Yeah, it's all very it's so dainty nice. food. I like it. Well, well a, the, for, the, for lack of a better phrase, it's an afternoon snack, right? It it's is an afternoon snack. To get us through snack. to dinner. It is without. to get us through to dinner. <clears> and um, what I'm also going to add there is a little cream. Now, in England, we would use something called Devonshire clotted cream. Clotted cream. Clotted cream. Now, clotted cream. cream here you have to have it imported, okay. uh, and it is very expensive. Um, the cream is um, dehydrated over about 24 hours to make it. This, oh, uh, wow. and it's it's a cross between a butter and a cream. Okay. But equally nice. good is just fresh whipped heavy cream, All which right. I've got here. So a little do dollop on each here. Oh, fabulous. That this is my kind of food. And then, oh look, there's just one for each of you there. Oh, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you would do is pick that up, and if it goes on your nose, that's fine. Oh, it is, huh? <laughs> She's obviously watched the show here. before. That's fine. May I go ahead and try one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, great. Where, where are you located? Where can exactly. people get access to your conserve and other things? Well, I currently don't have a storefront, okay. but I'm working at a number of farmers markets oh, in the great. area. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, on a Tuesday Stables. night. I'm at um, Stadium Village. On a Friday night, I'm at Traders Point Creamery sure. at the farm. Uh, on, on a Saturday, I'm usually at Zionsville okay. Farmers Market, and. For 
from next week, Wednesday, I'm in Plainfield. Oh, you but make this it around, yeah. Saturday, I'm at Vintage Indiana. Perfect. Oh, awesome. great. You do have a website, though. I do, tinastraditional.com. Awesome. Fun stuff. We're going to link that on indiestyle.tv. You're not going away, though, right? I'm not. You're, I'm going to do some tarts later. Oh, fabulous. <laughs>